There are a few souls that embrace McGee as more than just an address or a hometown. They embrace McGee as their life. It seeps out in every conversation and each story and each memory. It's who they are. I'm privileged tonight to tell you about one of those precious souls in our 2014 Hall of Fame inductee, my great aunt, Juanita Ware Brooks. Aunt Nita moved to McGee in 1927 when she was just three years old. It was a much different place then. She remembers Main Avenue being not being paved and 49 was just wooded. She lived in McGee when housing had no running water, no electricity, and no telephones. I mean, that's a kind of woman right there. It's amazing. She graduated from McGee High School in 1942. She continued her education, took a Pi Lincoln Community College, and then on to Mississippi College. She taught English for some time and during the war. And in 1944, she married Herbert Brooks, and they had two children, Clyde David and Karen. In 1968, after the retirement of former director Pauline Everett, the McGee Chamber of Commerce came to her and asked her if she would agree to take on this challenging role, and she agreed. <coughs> she was the beginning of a 20-year stint of civic work that saw the little town of McGee plunge into the modern age, as Ms. Donna McLean quoted in her article this week. No doubt, Aunt Nita witnessed a huge development during her chamber years. She worked with many third-generation businesses that were run by their grandfather. They were, they, this generation was running, they were running their grandfather's businesses. She helped organize the very first crazy day. Her method of communication with the business owners was not, was different. It was by foot. No email, no phone calls. It was just her going door to door. Personal relationships were the core of her job. She enjoyed the networking. She was probably one of our very first forms of social media. Nita retired from the chamber in 1989, but never retired from being one of the biggest cheerleaders of the town. This love for McGee and its progress continues still to gay today. She will turn 90 next month, and if you've spent any time with her recently, you'll know she's sharp as ever. She can talk national news, politics, her faith in God, you name it, she would love to chat with you. But what you'll hear is her love for McGee. I think she still calls Miss Gale and offers her suggestions and ideas. She wants to kind of check in and know how things are going with the chamber. It really is important to her. She knows that sharing her vivid <coughs> stories of how McGee came to be are important. She should know because she has played a valuable role in it her whole life. It is an honor to share with you about a very special lady in my life and a lady that will forever be special to McGee, Miss Juanita Brooks. And for health reasons, she was not able to be here tonight, so my mom is going to accept a word for her. It's a family affair. <laughs> I gladly accept this award for Aunt Linda because she is so special to me and to my entire family. Um, she has been, I've loved her forever, but she really became like a second mother after my mom died. She has been there for me every time I've needed her. It's been wonderful. She was very sad that she could not be here physically. It really, she was, she was torn, but she, she just knew she couldn't be. But she was delighted and thrilled for this honor. Having been involved with the chamber for 20 years, she knew how much, I promise she knows firsthand how much is involved in what it takes to make a chamber function. And she knew all oh, too well about what Diane is going through today. I do know that she loves this town with all of her heart, and I know that she loves each one of you. She has told me stories so many times, and I have heard stories of the past presidents that she's worked with, and they're all good stories. Um, and I can promise you, I have never, ever heard her say a bad thing about anybody. What a blessing, how awesome that is. And I know that she does have a strong faith in God. She has... Um, made that very evident. Even when she was in the hospital this past time, this was so unexpected, and she said, we saw, let me just tell you something. She said, 
I've done more witnessing for the Lord in these past 20 days than I've been able to do for my house in a long time. And that's okay. And every nurse that came in there, she stopped them. She wanted to know who the mom and daddy were. She wanted to know who grandma and granddaddy was. She said, I know them. I know every one of them. So she had the history on all the nurses. She really did. Um, and she doesn't forget anything. And as Ashley said, I promise you, you go to her right now. She mentioned Lady Gaga to me the other day. I don't know what she thought that was. She said, that's just wrong. I don't know where she is. I don't know, but ain't <laughs> Anyway, on behalf of this very special lady in my life, I would like to thank you as the chapter for this honor. She is she will treasure this forever and it was it was very sweet of y'all to do this. Oh, very special to me, and I accept it on myself. Yeah. You love her from Apple, didn't you?